Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting session of Distant Wanders. I am your ever-present Dungeon Master Walkman EXE, and with me as always are my cast of role players, my amazing people, my my just general 10 out of 10 beans. Uh, so going down the line, as we have, uh, we have of course Zami playing uh, Hal Percival Evangeline. Who's uh, We have, I can only assume Mr. Karen is Doc, so we have Doc playing Lucian Vale. It's cheese, Jay, in it? Jesus Christ. Uh, we have Vian uh, Josh Kaposh playing Viantra Casares. Hello, I, <laughs> I almost said Viantra Casares playing Josh Kaposh, and I feel so <laughs> bad. We have Nyla Sor playing Saoirse Bonfil, who was the protagonist of this uh, arc and is now free to not live in stress. Okay, Nyla's dead, cool. Uh, we have Colin uh, playing Darrow with a question mark, otherwise known as Darrow Al Axanoff II. A pleasure. What that means, sir. Uh, yeah, and when last we left off, uh, the party had <laughs> apprehended a s potential suspect in the attempted murder of Saoirse Bonfil, only to discover that he himself was also a victim. Uh, you all... Using him as as leverage, basically, found out uh, more in your own right about who could have potentially attacked Sirsha, uh Discovering uh, quite a bit about Sirsha's life and backstory in the process. Uh, many a thing of which was traumatizing. Uh... You all then were able to tune into the communications of uh, the parties in question, but not before uh, the artificer who was helping you was assassinated. Um, after his assassination, and Hal's almost assassination, uh, the party attempted to tune into the frequency of the mercenaries, found out where their next target was, uh, and then proceeded to the house of Saoirse's cousin, um, Silas Bonfil, uh, where they were met with a bit of a chilly reception before a hot reception as a man claiming to be Regis Bonfil, uh, the long-lost half-brother of Saoirse and rightful heir to the Bonfil uh, name, burst in with his mercenaries and attempted to kill everyone in sight. Um... After his appropriately timed death, uh, as it happens when you step to the Wanderers, uh, the party met with uh, Saoirse's uncle Rian uh, before he uh, passed away due to illness, and he revealed uh, that... His son, Silas, was also Saoirse's half-brother uh, by way of her mother. Uh, and with that revelation uh, revealed, the party picked up more or less the broken pieces of the encounter. And Howell uh, found a device that, when used, allowed them to communicate with Dusk, as it seemed that uh, Regis was a... Emissary, as it were. Uh, we now pick up after the fight with the party uh, licking their wounds, as it were. Uh, what would y'all like to do? I feel like the corpses just keep getting heavier as time goes on. That is a, a very dark way to look at it. Um... Go now. Just yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking any polls from these guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we have done our part. Yeah. yeah, buddy. No, nice, 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 nice. I, I kind of like give uh, Daryl the old like birdie, like buddy, like little. <laughs> not as proficient. Uh, guy off. That uh, was interesting. Oh, thank you. I. It was. <laughs> I have been uh, getting used to my abilities. Yeah, 
Sis, sis, are we good to go? Are you gonna stay? Oh, uh, she's not here. We're putting the bodies away. Here is her, is her room. <laughs> Yes, perhaps we should wait for Saoirse on, on the other hand. Yeah, yeah I, I imagine we're going to have to deal with that uh, in some fashion. I think you um, catch my meaning. I might, just, I might just wait out in the front. I think yeah. I concur with that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll head in. Where's Howl? Howl? <laughs> you guys see where you went? I fear not. Howl, are you there? Alright. Okay. I'll go check on Sirsha. You guys go look for Howl. I was just gonna wait in the front. <laughs> no, I, I got you, but there's not telling like how many more of these people may be lurking about. Uh, weirdly enough. I I believe that if any of them, yes, I, I believe that if any of them were still around, since they were mercenaries, they would likely be splitting by now. Fair they enough. have no loyalty. All right, well, to the front. <laughs> to the front. And there will be follow. Yeah, I... I... While they're hanging out in the front, I'm, I'm heading back inside, seeing what's up. Okay. Um, so, just to go ahead and clarify, who's who's heading where? I'm heading inside to check on Searsha, and the boys are outside, I think. Yeah, we're, we're going for to how? outside. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, pick up with uh, Lucian and Sirsha. Assuming Nyla is back, Nyla, are you back? He's back. Connection just a bit spotty. Uh... Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh, I'll just you know I'll I, I dragged us to this map, but I'll go ahead and drag us back to this map. Uh, cause stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we'll just put you right here, there, buddy, and uh. Howl, feel free to drag yourself wherever you feel like you'd be hiding. All howl like. Regardless. All right, Zami's dead too. Cool. Uh, so yeah. Um, the Seer Show. What's uh, what's up? Um. Probably talking to Silas a little bit. Okay. Uh, so he's just like, you know, he dried his eyes with his handkerchief and, you know, like, noticing that this was also an emotional event for you, offered you his handkerchief to, if you needed to, to cry or blow your nose or whatever. No, she's just with her shirt collar. Her... And just wipes wipes <laughs> snotty nose on sleeve. Just no, no, <laughs> just her eye. No, oh. just her eye. I don't. Okay. Did, we, did we not see? Like, no. He, yeah, we were to, we were totally doing body stuff with Yolanda before he died, right? So uh, yeah. yeah. So he's just kind of dead now, Lucian. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, he um, he dries his eyes and he just. Yeah, that, that, I guess that was the question I was beating around the bush with, is, like, is, is Saoirse a dignified crier or an ugly cry? Uh, or cold-hearted. No crier. She's, well, hold, she's, she's, trying, she's trying to hold it. Okay, so she's trying to be dignified, but may end up breaking out into ugly cry. Got it. Uh, ain't no shame in that. Silas is an ugly crier. This man, like, if, he, if, if this... He's trying to hold it together, but, like, his dad just died. Like, once y'all leave, he's gonna be fucking, like, you know, crying like they do in One Piece, you know? Like, fucking, it ain't gonna be pretty. Whoa, whoa, did something happen? What the fuck? As Lucian just stumbles into this <laughs> private family affair. Uh, can you give us one minute?
He nods and just wanders off in the halls. Uh, Silas turns to you and he goes, I will, uh, I will arrange for everything. Uh-huh. Okay. He was talking to Searsha. He wasn't. <laughs> oh, sorry, I heard Lucian. <laughs> no, he said, I will arrange everything. As, oh, he's, well, as he's speaking, as he's speaking. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Sit in the hall quietly, Lucian. It's a private uh-huh. moment. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, as he <laughs> as he turns to you and he goes, I will uh, I will arrange everything and make sure that father is returned to the family plot. Okay. If you want, you can come by. You cut tomorrow. out. Oh, tomorrow. Discuss okay. Her. Oh. Sorry, you cut so... out. Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. My connection's really bad right now. That's okay. I would, uh, I would like that. I will, I will come over tomorrow and discuss further ventures and see what it is you wish to do. All right. And see he you just, tomorrow. He just kind of, like, awkward, like, he, he, you could tell, like, he goes for a hug initially and then, like, reconsiders and just, like, extends a hand, like, to shake and he's like, hmm, uh, yes. She'll hug him. <laughs> He accepts the hug very awkwardly, as this is all, like, fucking news to him. (laughs) Like, suddenly, like, er, previously today, he had a father and a family that he didn't like because they disowned his father, and now he suddenly has a sister and a family that's willing to welcome him back, so he's just kind of, it's a lot to process today. Oh, yeah. No, I understand. So it's just like, mm-hmm, same fam. <laughs> Me too. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So, uh, do you do you do you gather your Lucian and leave? <laughs> yes. Is there anything interesting? Just like walking around the house, anything that catches my eye? Uh, honestly, no. Like it's it's like even for like a rich person's house, it's it's relatively modest. Like. <laughs> from the contrast that you can see between Rian's uh, architectural, you know, uh, exploits and uh, by extension, uh, Saoirse or, or better uh, ascribed her father, uh, like the extravagance you see at the Bonfil house is not matched in Rian's own home. Like he obviously like has money and has wealth and and prestige but he doesn't flaunt it as Sirsha's father did uh so like the the bonfil estate that Sirsha lives in uh super fucking extravagant like super fucking nice but this house I'm just kind of kind of it's nice like it's definitely fancier than any place you've ever stayed Lucian but it's not like it's not like the 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 dojo where there were like scrolls and you know pictures and stuff like hung everywhere. It's just kind of barren walls and stuff like that. Good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So. Gather me and leave. <laughs> gather. I gather him and leave. Just imagining Searsha just be like going into a family meeting. Hello, this is my emotional support, Lucian. He's here. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, you you gather your Lucian and you walk out the door. Uh, how 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 much are you trying to not be found? Oh, how? Yeah, because how? Because I'm I, I, while she gathers you and leaves, I'm transitioning to the other group that's outside currently searching for how. Oh, they're not searching, I don't think. We're kind of going just to just to sit out. Hi, Zivi. Yeah. We're just gonna we're gonna sit out there. I'm sorry, um, but no, I, I'm not hiding or anything. I, I wanted to walk up to the group. <laughs> okay. Uh, you walk up to the group. Um. Joe, do do you still have identify on you? Uh, she's saying the Darrow? Yeah. 
Okay, sorry. I thought I heard zero in the beginning of that, but I wasn't sure. Well, yes, I should be able to... I... Mm, Daryl voice. Well, yes, I, I should be able to identify. What, what do you need identified? Um, this magic... Okay. And I will cast identify. Um Yeah, so um the locket is a mundane lock uh which one are you casting identify on first? The locket or the amulet? I'll do the Okay. Uh the amulet is basically a I'll long first. It is basically a hyper advanced long ranged sending stone. Like, in the sense that, ra with most Sending Stones, you would be restricted to... Hold on, I knocked over something. Um, with most Sending Stones, you would be restricted to specifically 20 words, or 20, 25 words or less. Um, so a short message. This seems to be, like... And additionally, like, the, the, it takes time for it to send. Like, you send it, you wait for a response, and when you get your response, you mm -hmm. can, you know, cast again to send more messages. This seems to actually relay speech and, you know, additional auditory feedback in real time. So this is probably, like, the most advanced communications device mm -hmm. that Darrow okay. has ever held in his hands. Yeah. Darrow, uh, I, my eyes were fascinating. It seems that you have in your hands well, in my hands, but in your possession, a advancement on sending stone technology, perhaps the most cutting edge I've ever seen, per se. And I begin to describe uh, the details of how it's so advanced and what it does. Okay. All right. Um, and then I check the locket. So the locket isn't magical. It just seems more to be like an activation device. Like it seems like the sending stone basically is locked until the locket is inserted into like the the perfectly carved spot in the sending stone. Or in the amulet. Sorry. Yes, now and this uh, yeah okay. Yes, now in this locket is um, the proverbial key that unlocks the sending stone. This uh, sending stone like amulet. Is there anything else you need me to identify? The dagger. <laughs> yes, of course. He kind of uh, flinches at his mistake, his error. Apologies. I was. Else, my mind was elsewhere. Okay, and he checks the dagger. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, it's a, the way I described it, it was an ornate silver dagger, correct? I believe so. Um, okay. So, as you yes. guys identify on it, like, um, it's definitely not the most advanced piece of technology you've ever held in your hands. Not like the, mm -hmm. it's basically like, the Cynic Stone was like, getting to hold a cell phone for the first time and this is more like you know being handed uh like a fucking desktop monitor like it's not as impressive but it's it's like oh wow this is pretty cool um the dagger itself only seems to have two magical abilities attributed to it um first off uh the dagger itself acts as an arcane focus uh, so much like one would use a wand, a staff, uh, uh, you know, gems or, or crystals or orbs or, or whatever to cast their spells and channel it through uh, to cut out material components as a casting medium, uh, this dagger itself can channel the spells. Um, additionally, it seems that when mm -hmm. specifically fire-based spells are channeled through it, um, it, they completely ignore resistance. Okay. 
So, for example, if Darrow were to use Dagger to cast Fireball on Viantra, unless Viantra makes a good deck save, he getting Fireballed. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that prospect was scary after the battle we just had. Um... Now, granted, Regis was a very interesting caster, but uh, that is just a fun little magic item that I whipped up. I I relay this information to Hal, sort of um, half interested, and then quick to change the topic once I'm done. Now back to the Sending Stone. I would be very interested if at any later point you get the opportunity to find out the what's what's went into making such a device. Oh, and and he and I look at you gravely. Do be careful with it. I do not look at you. <laughs> um, his his eyes are like his, his eyes are like wide. I look to the side. I I'm pretty sure I already knew what it did. Um, so I actually put the locket and the dagger together, and I got a nice message from Dusk. Um, it was great that she'd been there. Um, Saying how oh, the next time she sees Fall, he's dead, and uh, Kareem said hi. Interesting. We should oh. relay that to Wuxi if he's not already aware of Anseersha. Once they return, uh, I, think kind of, I kind of give a nod. Hopefully, assuming Seersha is coming with us, of course. So we have a, a way to uh, directly talk to Dusk. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will be Ugh. useful. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Sorry. I put it away. Then we, we, we wait for Lucian and Sears, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so then Lucian and Sears come out later. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Friends. Oh, welcome back. He says with a, um, uh, he... I, I give a I give an initial smile and then uh, <laughs> sensing the mood of the occasion quickly like tuck it away a bit. Is, is everything mm. well, all right? Uh, can I, should I tell him or uh, tell us? <laughs> well, uh, her uncle's uh, uh, no longer with us. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Sirsha. Yes, my condolences. Thanks. Let's, uh... Let's... Go back, shall we? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and, uh, yes. Go back to the cart, I guess. We can't go in the cart. Remember, the horses yeah. are dead. All right. Just kidding. So we're walking back. Oh, we have to oh, yes. walk. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why is Taishin here? No, he. Huh? We're just. What? Anyway. Good dude. Don't worry about it. Yep. Wait. Oh. Oh. No, no. Don't oh, ignore, no. It. ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. You can't tell me to ignore that shit. Yeah, that's PTSD. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not real. I don't know if I care if you could use that word. All right. Anyway, back on topic. Suddenly, we walk back in fear. 
Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a tension in the group. We just don't know where it's from. <laughs> okay. Alright, we, we walk we back. This is not a stress free yeah. session. <laughs> <laughs> we were lied to. What? What are you talking about? This, this is an ambush. It's not an ambush, but. Uh... It's a trap. It's <laughs> Yeah, so uh, y'all return, y'all return to Bonfield Manor after uh, walking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and as you, I might, I might, I might break off from at some point and like, uh, I'm gonna pick up some uh, more inks and oils, uh, some charcoal maybe. I gotta pick up some more stuff, so probably That's split good. off here. That's all right. We'll, we'll oh, all right. Uh, as 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 uh, you go to break off, Roshin just like uh, look looks over at you and is like, "Well, is that is all right?" Then she turns to Howl, uh, Darrow, and and Bianca. She goes, "Well, now that the horses are um, dead and we are walking back, uh, who is going to carry the nice old lady? Which one of you is going to be a gentleman?" Sheen, I'm fine. No, I meant I meant me, you fool. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I appreciate your elegance and beauty, darling, but I am old. I can carry you home, Sirsha. What? You... No, it's, it's not... uh, no, I, I don't <laughs> believe that was the wrong person. If you need it that much. No, it's wrong. Wrong person, oh. Lucian. Wrong. <laughs> But yes, Lucian, do do go ahead with the deed. Well, I can't. It's, it's Rashid that's supposed to be carried. Uh, yeah, no, I understand that. I'm just making fun of you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh. Do I'm... you have enough money? I'm a bit short, but that's more than I usually have. I should be fine. Here, one sec. Uh, she'll hand you. Hold. How much? Hundred. Oh, you sure? Huh. It's a, it's yeah, a I'm fine. Alright, I won't say no. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what Richine expect, expects. None of us, uh, none of. I'm really like weak. between the. <laughs> I'm, I'm not whispering to him. Whispering to you, she's like, I, yeah, none of, none of the guys. I there, there are side I hang me on to hoping he'll do it. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, why All right, come, up on Rashid. <laughs> <laughs> she is like, ah, good, a, a, a gentleman. Back, and she, right. she, uh, <laughs> make, make a athletics check. Oh no. <laughs> no we're at proficiency. Oh. Yeah, and carrying another person isn't hard for you. Plus, she weighs like next to nothing, so yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. and she she just kind of like looks at Viantra and Darrow and Howl and is like, "I will make a note of this." Uh-huh. Yep, <laughs> I shrug. He is he is he is currently my favorite, and you all are on uh, the shit list, as they say. I guess I'll have to live there. Yeah, just <laughs> like I, I get okay. <laughs> Damn, make it no fun for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I suppose we, yeah, I get, we, we go, we go. We frolic. <laughs> and I add a hundred gold in my inventory. Uh, say what now? Hmm? No, it's just gave me hundred gold. That. Oh, for shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, for carrying Rasheen? <laughs> I was like, Sarah really likes her servant. What? Mm. Anyway. We frolic back. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, you arrive back at, uh, you know, uh, the Bonfil estate. She, uh, tells Rasheen, as, as you all walk in, tells two, ser- uh, hops down and tells two servants at the front to uh, grab a fresh set of horses and go fetch the carriage from Silas's house. Uh, they do so. 
And she turns to you all and goes, uh, well, I will uh, get back to work. Good, good day. She just kind of like walks into the estate. I haven't watched a bunch of people get trapped in, like, poison gas or some shit right outside the door right in front of her. She is oddly chipper. You'd be surprised. Yeah. She Figured. she was outside the radius. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying she saw that shit go down at the very least. <laughs> well, anyway, y'all are free to do what y'all need to. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, I might take a minute to rest up here. Before I head back out. Yeah, I, I think we all could use a, a moment. <laughs> Processing would be <laughs> nice. Uh, Alright, so as y'all rest the Bonfil estate, we're going to go down the line and just kind of see what everyone's doing. Uh, Viantra, what are you doing? I'm probably just going to chill in the library. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as, as, as he chills in the library, I, I, I mean, I'll ask Darrow, but I, I don't expect a different answer. Darrow, you, what are you doing? <laughs> there is no different answer. All right. Cool. So, so uh, the nerd, the 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 book bros nerd. are together. Yep. yep. The, well, the, the, the the nerd squad got it. Uh, <laughs> Lucian, what you doing? I'm probably meditating, but at some point, I'm probably going to get the stupid idea to try like painting with my eyes closed. Okay. <laughs> See if that helps with my conundrum. Uh, can you message me what conundrum that is? I may have forgotten. Oh, uh, back backstory stuff. Not like not like an actual issue, just like a. I know. Just message mental, me because I've probably forgotten. Thought. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sirsha, what are you doing? Uh, did I pick up the gun? Question: Was it there? Could I pick uh, it up? Uh, which which one? The one that the sh using, or at least the dude who oh, obviously yeah, the, has the, the the well, Rian and the and the 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 rifleman both had guns. I'm just saying, which one did you grab? I say that I grab both. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yay! All right, so I grab both. Uh, she's probably gonna go airs to the room. She you know does alchemy, and she's probably so, gonna. So you're gonna go to your to... workshop. At least try to take one apart, see how it works, and then if she can, put it back together. Gotcha. So you're in the basement. Yeah. Uh, Hal, what you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for Sierra. <laughs> uh, and, and then leave <laughs> later. Uh, okay. So first things first. Um, Viantra and and Daryl, are y'all actually doing anything in the library specifically, or are you just? reading to relax uh if darrow is looking for something i'll help him look for it but otherwise i was gonna say the same thing <laughs> oh <laughs> so so both of you are reading to relax got it yes <laughs> we both have a book club um lucian make me i guess it'd be a sleight of hand check normally painting it would be a performance but this is uh I mean, there's like skilled, like uh, there, there's a, there's like, there's like a tools and stuff. Yeah, there's there's a, a, I, a I, way I, it must I, be. Done. I have something already like custom made there. Okay, if then, that's then, okay then go use. for it. Yeah, are yeah. you using dexterity or charisma as the base? Uh, wisdom. Hmm. Intriguing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's as you meditate and then begin to paint with your eyes closed. Like uh, when you finish your product, like it's good. But it doesn't feel right. No. No. No, it doesn't. It's definitely, like, really nice, though. Like, you'd, you'd probably make some good money for it if you wanted to sell it. Fair enough. Uh, and then, Sirsha, I need you to make me a Tinkerer's uh, tool check. So this is going to basically be, like, a... Um, it's going to be a skill check using your intelligence, uh, and you're going to have your proficiency. <laughs> Intelligence. If you want, I can. I here. I, I will. I will add a skill for you. For these specific tools. I'm gonna actually make you a couple custom skills. Give me one second. Oh. Okay. Give me one 
one second. I have to check all your tool proficiencies. Holy. Mm. Yeah, the painting though is like a, it's it's like a painting of like a, a ha like a hazy like woman like painted like as a shadow with like her like hands out and like like red like tendrils coming from her fingertips that are like wrapping around this like misshapen womb with like something resembling a living creature inside. That's like I like, didn't need any of to... that. Oh Jesus Christ, that's gonna take a long time to purge from my conscience. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. <clears throat> that's what's on his mind anyway sorry to distract there boom custom skills based off your actual like skill proficiencies or your tool proficiencies so yeah go ahead and roll me a tinkering check <clears throat> Hey, that's really good. Uh, yeah, you... Which one are you starting with, I, I guess I should ask? Well, let's start with the one Righteous had. Righteous. Uh... Okay, so, so you're you're starting with Rion's pistol? Or are you starting with the, the rifle that yeah. the mercenary had? Uh, no, let's go with the rifle. Let's go with the rifle. Yeah, you, you take it apart, um, and it's definitely, like, an interesting piece of work. Like, it is a double-barreled uh, musket, which you you've heard of muskets you just never expected to find one with double barrels uh it has two triggers one for each barrel um and two separate flintlocks um but or two different striking hammers i guess i should say um but as you take it apart like the woodwork is very intricately done um and it supports and braces uh, the rifle, and as you take it apart and kind of, like, study it, like, there's no ammunition in it, um, but as you kind of, like, study it, as you study the, um, kind of residue and generally, uh, how it works, you understand what would be required to use it appropriately, um, you would just need like actual ammunition to test your theories. And as you put it back together, you assemble it, uh, what you would assume is correctly having taken it apart. Okay. And how will go ahead and make me an investigation check as you were looking for Saoirse. Uh, Fine. Stay dead. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you find her as she finishes putting the first gun back together, but hasn't started on the second one yet. <clears throat> uh, so how, what do you do? I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna awkwardly stand there, and then the, um, Zirusha kind of have something to tell you. Yeah. Um, I know. I know you've been through a lot today. Crazy. Um, I just wanted to uh, apologize for going through family documents and not asking for your permission. Well, you guys can. You guys ask for permission. I said it was okay. But before, before that, when I, when we didn't receive permission, and by we, I really only meant. Me. Um. That's okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. But I just don't want to be dead next morning. Um. Is all. <laughs> I kill you. Uh. Bye. She. Oh. Well. I can't promise that. Oh. Uh, I'm joking. <sighs> well. Uh. No. That's fine. Probably deserved it or something. Oh. Um, yeah, that, that was all, honestly. Um, I am off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, and I, 
Now I'm going to shop their supplies. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> just as a question, uh, Lucian, are you also going to... You said you were also going to shop for supplies, right? Yeah, yeah, later, though. I'm... I'm... Yeah, once I, once I finish that masterpiece, I'm gonna hide it with, along with the other uh, canvas I, I did uh, away from all the rest of Sushi's mother's pieces, or if I can't, like, hide it, or if I can't, I'll destroy it and just get rid of it, but. You hide you can hide it, but I want to separate it from the rest of her. Right? Like, yeah, like you can hide it, but there's yeah, just... there's a store. There's definitely a, a storeroom for like other canvases that have been used. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll like I'll like face them against the, like against the wall and like lean them. <laughs> on that. Yeah, it 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 fits in there just fine. Yeah, that that's good. Okay, and um, after that, uh, I'll, I'll I'll check and see if the the nerds are still hanging out in the library. Just take a pa like a passing glance walking through yeah they're still in the library okay and i'm gonna go check up on searsha okay uh searsha make me another tinkering check for the other gun <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh um So the pistol is a lot more elaborate and uh, complex, let's say. It's a much better work than the rifle is. Um, so you take it apart as carefully as you can. Uh, but of course, seeing as this is actually Rian's gun, you, you get a little emotional. Um... Would you be the person to, to, like, as you're working on this, like, this is your, your private space, Howl is left, this is your uncle's weapon, would you allow yourself to feel uh, what you're feeling? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you... Like, again, back to the initial question, are, are you a dignified crier, an ugly crier, or I guess, you know, for Lucian's purposes, are you just kind of cold? You just not cry? No, she's an ugly crier, for sure. Okay! <laughs> yeah, you, you, as the tears flood your eyes and, and the, the, the snot wells down the nose, you just, <laughs> no. like, no. just terrible uh you can't really see what you're doing and you think you heard a part break but you can't really see through the tears and you're you're if there is any powder in the gun or any residue like you've gotten it wet like you can't tell what you're doing and as you just try to put it back together you just have to stop halfway through because you just, you just can't uh so yeah like this this is a complete and utter failure. Like, I, I, you could try to put it together again later, but I, I am going to warn you, like, it's going to be at, like, some crazy disadvantage. And I can't guarantee that it'll work because you rolled a nat one to oh, take this thing easy. apart. <laughs> um, and yeah, Lucian, I, do you, are you the type to knock or do you just throw open doors? Typically, I throw open doors, but I'm going to knock this time. Uh,. As you go to knock, you can definitely hear Sirsha crying on the other, like... Then I break in. Oh, okay. Break. Oh. <laughs> Not, like, violently or anything, but... You shove door open. Yes. Okay, yeah, Sirsha, you're at your vulnerable moment, and Lucian just barges in. He looks fucking shocked as all get out, that's for sure. I'm walking over. Okay. Oh, like... And I give her a hug. <laughs> so 
All right. Do you need a minute or? I've just had a long day. Yeah. Sorry. You want to talk the... about it? Don't apologize. You want to talk about it? I think that might be good. All right. I'll find a seat somewhere. I don't really know where to start. It's okay. I guess There's... I just don't know what to talk about. It's the first thing that comes to mind. First thing that, first feeling, anything. Just first thing comes to your head. Maybe whatever it is, even if you don't think you should say it, just say it. I'm scared. I mean, I made mistakes when I was younger that I never really regretted. And to this day, I guess I don't regret them. And bad things are happening because I don't regret them. I don't know. I guess if I, all the family stuff would be done a long ago, I wouldn't have to deal with it again. But I guess seeing I still have family just makes me scared. Because the family I had was kind of broken, and I'm afraid that. It might happen again. It won't happen again. I'm not so sure. Well. I think that's okay, if you're not sure. I'm not really sure either. <laughs> that any... Uh, anything, really. Okay. Ugh. Hmm. I don't... I guess I don't really get what's going on here, but... Uh, you s The fact that... It's such a weight on your mind now, it just... I think that proves enough that you're on your way to figuring out a solution. I hope so. Yeah. Anything interesting with that? What did that come? I don't know. hard to talk about I've just I've never really talked about this kind of stuff with people so it just feels difficult to put it into words I guess yeah I 
what really happened back uh, back then I mean or when when I was younger um, my father and mother would fight a lot it started gradually but it, it got worse as time kind of went on um, I, I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with either of them my father kind of pushed me to studying because he felt that was the one thing I could do and I got to see less and less of my mom she would leave sometimes but usually she'd let me know but one day I guess I noticed she wasn't there in the house for a couple days I asked my dad where she, she went he said she was off visiting family and she wouldn't be full weeks um when a couple weeks went by and so I asked him if she was still off visiting family he told me she decided she wanted to stay with them when I asked why he said she was disappointed in me I would never really be enough and that and she would stay there until I did made something of myself so I began to study harder I picked up archaeology because it was something that was easier to understand as well as it just it was something that could at least give the family a good name my father would sometimes be proud of me in those instances but still my mother never came back and I don't know or what initiated it one day but we got in a fight about I don't know what, but I wanted to see him. and I told him that I was going to go and visit her and he told me that would be impossible as he killed her and he made she again and I guess I got mad and I ran I couldn't I had nowhere else to leave but Rasheen and some others were able to hide me upstairs in the quarters where the and he sent people out looking for me and I was kind of trapped in the house but at that point the servant one of them came up with the idea to get rid of him or at least mentioned if he were dead things would be better, or I could leave. So, they were able to go downstairs and get some of my books from when I studied. And I found some poisons that would be easy to and through 
garden and found that there was one poison we could make that was easy and was able to go almost on noticed in small doses. So they slowly poisoned him over time. And so I told them to stop and that I would do the rest. And when he was bedridden, I I was able to poison him for the last time. And I killed him. Uh, I took the family name after that because there were no other... At the time, we didn't know. There was no other heirs at the time, so I, I took it and I tried to do what I could in with what I knew. I tried to run it and I tried fixing things that he'd done. Just, I tried to be good, I guess. But I never liked it life and I guess that's why I living here was too painful. So leaving and for the rest of twenty five years. And I guess I guess it all just came back. <laughs> uh, do you know where you want to go from here? Not really. All I know is I just... I don't want to be part of this family anymore, or at least... I don't want to ever come back here. No, he nods. He nods. I don't think that's wrong. I think that's... I don't think we're all that different in that home is for me. Oh, sorry, but. No, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Didn't mean to make that about me, but I, I, I think I can relate to where you're coming from. Yeah, um... Well, let's take some time. We can figure things out tomorrow. We should still have some good time over dusk. You still have time to decide what you want to do next as well. She nods. Thanks for listening. Nothing. (laughs) 
Uh, I'm probably gonna clean up whatever mess I just made and yeah. try to... Do you guys, or do you know if, um, you know, I'm going to I'm, I'm head up to the kitchen. I'm going to I'm head, I'm I'm head, I'm head, I'm head, I'm head, I'm head up to the kitchen. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Guilty pleasures, food-wise? Anything? Uh, or am I going to have to harass your servants again? No, please don't. <laughs> Uh, what can I get for nice. you? Apples are nice. Oh come on! Something I do. Here, no. Just uh, just plain apples? Um, I don't know. Apple pie, uh, maybe? Anything? Like, come on, there has to be something. Apples with cinnamon on. Apples with cinnamon on them. Like a apple strudel, maybe. Ask them, just tell them apples. They'll know what I like. All right. Thank you. I'll go command. <laughs> don't not, com don't it's command. Not... Just ask. No, me. I I I'm telling Walker. I'm just gonna tell Walker that yes, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and demand the creation of apples for the mistress and myself. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they do know exactly what. Uh, she's talking about uh, essentially oh, I'm trying to think of a cool way to describe this uh, so basically what they do is they they completely peel an apple like they take the skin off it completely um, and remove the core but they do it in such a way that like the, the apple still kind of sticks together and then they slice down it just enough so that it kind of peels kind of like think like a blooming onion but apple uh, and then they basically dust it with cinnamon and sugar. Okay. Uh, it's make, really good. And they make you, like, uh, four of them. <laughs> yeah, I take them back. And, 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 and the... before before you take them, they're like, uh, does... What's up? Does she want them fried or just as they are? Boo. You made four of them, right? Half and half. We'll say half and half. They they fry up two of them. Okay. It's very carefully glazed in um uh batter made with apple juice, uh and then they appreciate it. Oh, okay. I go take them away. Okay. Eh? I bring him to see your you, you have two regular apples and then two fried ones. I'm taking one of the fried ones for myself. I'll take one of the normal ones. Yeah. You didn't get anything for yourself? You watch as I'm eating one of the fried one, one of the fried apples. Fair enough. <laughs> I had to, I, I mean, I had to try this so-called apple that you were talking so highly of. It's good. Uh, the one thing you notice, uh, Lucian, is like, as you, as she's like, it's good, uh, you, you realize why, as since they didn't cut all the way through them, you can literally just pop off basically like an apple wedge and still have like a <laughs> ring of apple to, to pluck from, or you could just eat the whole thing. Um, oh no! Is, is Lucian the person who snaps the Kit Kat or just bites the Kit Kat bar? That's the question. That now. well, the, the, the question, the question, the question is more: Do you snap off yourself a little wedge, or do you take a bite out of it like a donut? He'll go donut. <laughs> yeah, as, donut as you as you crunch through it, um, which I assume that Sears is the type of person who just like plucks off each individual wedge and, and noshes. Or are you also the type of person that crunches through it like a donut? No, she takes individual pieces. Yeah, as you watch him blaspheme the apples, <laughs> as I'm assuming you've only ever eaten them one way and you've never really shared this snack with any of your 
with anyone else ever. Like, this is just... You watch him crunch through it, and you're just like, ew. What? Well, not like ew, but like, I, I'm I, I'm saying like, like in, 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 in your mind, it's just like, huh. Yeah, see if she's giving me a you're look, suppo- at least. I'm like, huh. Yeah. What? You're supposed to take the individual pieces out. She'll pop one off. I'll just eat the like, donut again with <laughs> that way again. Oh my god. <laughs> you are weird. You're weird. <laughs> I guess we're both weird. Yeah. Food's food. There's no right way to eat it. Apparently not. <laughs> Glad we understand each other. Indeed. Hmm. I think that's enough for that scene. I was yeah. going to say so too and transition to Zami shopping. Hey, I wanted to drop by the nerd, the nerd squad. Did you want to invite the nerd squad out shopping? Yeah. Uh, so Viantra, as you're as you're deep in a in a just absolutely captivating book, and Darrow, as you're also deep in an absolutely captivating book. Uh, Howl enters the domain of the nerds. So, um, I was gonna go shopping, and I was wondering if you guys wanted to join as well. So, so, still looking at the book. I, I you know, I, I don't really need anything right now, I don't think. Are you sure I'm I, I, I think, I think I have everything I need. I, I think. Yes, I, I, I must, I must concur. I, I fear, I, I don't, I don't feel as though there's any reason for me to go on this expedition. So, so simply because I, I we are, we are time limited, and I'm, I'm certain that uh, you all have forgotten. Um, I would just like to remind you, Viantra, mm-hmm. that there are those dwarves uh, that y'all did the job for. Um, and it quasi- it hasn't been like a huge amount of time. Like it's maybe been a day since you dropped the stuff off with them, uh, but they did leave you that seal, uh, and you do have questions. Oh yeah. And you can't talk to dwarves inside a library. Hmm. I I I don't need to buy anything. I close my book. <laughs> I don't need to buy anything, but let's uh, let's, let's I have some place I need to be. Don't, don't you have to write a letter to your, um... Oh, well, I, 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 I haven't finished writing it. Um, mm-hmm. but yes. <laughs> what, what about you, Darrow, anything? Maybe a stroll to see if you remember something? Darrow, Darrow seems to light up with that idea, and also, uh, before that, reluctantly looks around to see that he will be alone in the library. Well, I suppose that would suit me. Very well, I'll come with you. Alright, uh... I'll drag y'all down to here, but first I'll ask, like, uh... Do y'all want to go on Hal's shopping venture first, or talk to the dwarves first? Talk to the dwarves first. Okay. Talk to dwarves. Alright, so, uh, you all head down to the the Dugan trade outpost. Uh, and business is booming. Like, it's only been, like, 24 hours since you basically dropped off the stuff, and, uh... hug out with Sersha and did stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, really, really bopping over there right now. And uh, the, the, the dwarf that you spoke to yesterday who was the uh, warehouse foreman kind of runs over to you, uh, Viantra, and just is like, Ah, hello there! Hello. Seems uh, things are going well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Things are going great uh, since you dropped off the stuff, um, and uh, here you go. And he like he he hands you uh, a, a coin purse. He's like, uh, "Here's your current cut of the commission. Uh, we've still got a good bit of stock left to go, but uh, I should say we'd be through it in about uh, eh, give or take two two or three more days if things keep up at the pace they're going now." Well, we'll be around. Uh, thank you very much. Uh... Is it like it doesn't feel heavy? Is the pouch? You're free to open it. I open it. 
It doesn't feel heavy, but as you open it and look inside, you realize that there are uh, <laughs> uh, 50 platinum pieces inside the bag. Whoa. 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 <laughs> so that's 500 gold a piece. <laughs> or sorry, that's 100 gold a piece. Sorry, Five, 50 platinum pieces is 500 gold, which is uh, 100 gold wow. a piece. Oh. I usually, like, Bianca's eyes, like, light up. I think we made a very good decision doing this uh, venture, actually. Yes, I, I must concur, Dorothy. <laughs> uh, yeah, at, um, at the current rate of uh, your your 10% commission, uh, we've, we've cleared most of the, 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 the stock uh, that's the lower end stuff. Uh, the reason I say it'd take about two or three more days to clear the, the, the rest of the stock is because... Um, a few more are more higher end, and uh, we we had to arrange some contracts. So uh, some people said they just won't be by to pick up stuff for a few days. Um, but if you stick around, uh, we're expecting quite a yield from this. Uh, if if everything actually sells, uh, your commission would be looking more in the. Um, he looks at the bag that he gave you and he goes, "Just multiply that by ten." <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it would, would be around. Uh, that's. And <laughs> Vianna's just like, material components! <laughs> yeah, this is. Especially, like, with this with his family and how he hasn't ever had, like, a lot of money. He's, like, this is your first like... time looking at a fucking platinum piece. You're like, oh my god! <laughs> Fiatra right now, just like, holy shit, I'm rich! <laughs> I might need to uh, go for a moment and uh, clear my head. Uh, just imagine he, like, walks ten feet and just screams into the heavens. <laughs> you, you, you guys can stay, I'll, I'll just, I'm gonna, I close the pouch, I, like, uh, put it to my side, and I walk away. <laughs> He, he just the, uh uh Marcus kind of sees this happen uh sees this happen and he goes is your friend all right no absolutely not <laughs> well i to be fair i think even for my standing that would be a lot of money many things for a moment i believe you believe you, you don't know how much money you have I, it's a complicated story. Yeah. Now that how you... I mean, I've got time. Do you want to sit <laughs> sit a spell? I I don't have. I, I got about three hours before I got the uh, go back on shift. I I I'm not necessarily on break, but I'm not on the clock. Like, do you want to talk about it? You. <laughs> no, I, I, do y'all do y'all want you, lunch? You like, is is fine, this? Uh, like, he, he's kind of, like, confused, because to him, 50 platinum is fucking nothing. And so he's like, do y'all, do y'all want me to buy you lunch? Like, is everything okay? I, I think they both need help, actually. Um, <laughs> Hell, didn't you say you had other shopping to do? Yes? Um, not with you anymore. Um... <laughs> Oh. Anyways, um, yeah, have fun, Dara. Take care of your entry. And I'm off. Okay, you, you, I would like to let you know before you leave. Viantra didn't give you the money. He just walked off with it. <laughs> I, could, I could steal it right from you. <laughs> You'd have to find him first. Yeah, whatever. I'm not. Oh, I might be a little broke. Oh. Yeah, check your check your inventory <laughs> first before you start talking wise. <laughs> Go with my Beatrice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Beatrice, uh, where are you at and what are you doing? I, I'm kind of like I, I, I'm looking at the the city right now in in, in rose colored glasses. <laughs> Uh, probably, he doesn't really have anywhere to be. I think he, like, 
uh, my in my mind he like walked away for a while and then was like oh shit <laughs> I, <laughs> I have nowhere to go <laughs> uh, um so he'll probably start looking for howl after like i don't know like 15 minutes of like admiring the city now and these like nice this new <laughs> new energy <laughs> uh yeah so y'all y'all regroup with each other um <laughs> And uh, I assume that Darrow just follows Hal around while Hal looks for Vianca. Yeah, Darrow, Darrow turns to Shepard and is like, uh, he reconsiders his comment about it being a long story. He's like, I amnesia, and then he walks away. He's just like, amnesia, and just leaves quickly. <laughs> <I'm> amnesia. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we're setting such a bad reputation for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Marcus is thoroughly confused, but doesn't go around pursuing you. He's just kind of like, I, I probably had places to go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So yeah, y'all regroup now with, uh, go, Viatra, do you divide the money, or do you just keep it in the vault? Yeah, I divide, I divide the money. So yeah, each okay. of you go ahead and just add ten platinum pieces to your inventory. Oh, sweet. This the three of them or all of us? Well, he's still got to hold on to the other 20 platinum pieces to give to y'all, but yeah. There. Oh, sorry, I, I just I got, just got back, so I'm still learning what we have just oh. earned ourselves. We just got 50 platinum pieces. Oh, oh bloggers. Yeah. And we oh, might get a lot cool. more soon. I'd like to make a clarifying statement. <laughs> 5,000 gold pieces is a lot to Darrow. 500 is not. Gosh. Well, we're about to get 5,000. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Potentially. Potentially. I think it's going to go wrong. <laughs> Their business could tank any second. <laughs> well, no, because, I mean, are, are y'all going to stick around for the next few days, or are y'all going to the Dreaming Wood? Like We have to pull our shares while it's still hot. Well, no, well, we're going <laughs> to... There, we'll there was we'll going back was to invest in the sending stone business. Okay. We'll, figure, we'll figure that out. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Uh, if we forget, we forget. If we forget, we forget. So yeah, uh, y'all go shopping. Where, uh, Hal, where do you want to go? Uh, I'm gonna try and look for, like, a shop that has anything with, like, medicine or something with, uh, healing potions, too, and something to help, like, sleep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Because y'all don't know this city. Jesus. Yeah, you just know good. <laughs> you don't know the city, but you find what you're looking for. Um, yeah, it doesn't take you long. Uh, y'all head into the Silverside Quarter uh, after kind of like asking around, like, hey, where's a where's a medicine shop or like an herbalism shop or someplace we could buy alchemical supplies? They point you in the right direction. Uh... And you arrive at a shop, uh, literally just called uh, the Silver Vial. Mm -hmm. uh, and as y'all walk inside, uh, it is a very nice and respectable establishment. Uh, all the herbs are kept nice and neatly organized uh, behind glass that is also barred. Uh... And behind the counter sits, like, a, 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 a nice um, high elven woman who's just kind of like, Oh, hello. Hello. What, what could I help you with today? Um, do you mind if I could get two healing potions and if you have anything to sleep in? Uh, I can check on those healing potions and I could uh, see about the sleeping situation. Uh, first and foremost, she pulls out like a fucking notepad. She's like, "What are your symptoms?" Uh, I just can't sleep, that is all. Okay, I I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. I can't just prescribe something for just can't sleep. I need I need specifics. Oh, 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 okay. Um. Night terrors. Um and. She's, she seems to scribble something down on her notepad. Um, 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 
I was just exhausted too. <laughs> she writes more down on her notepad. <laughs> and that, that's all. I think I've got just the thing. And you said two healing potions? Yes. And she looks up amongst the three of you. She's like, is that for... Are y'all splitting or is that just for you, dearie? Uh, like a owl. <laughs> Sweats. Make it three. <laughs> Wait. I, are you I, paying for it? Do you, need, do you need us to help to pay? I, no, I, no, it's fine. I got it. Okay. That's just do you need... Shut up. Got it. All right then. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my things. Uh, and she goes to the back and returns uh, after a few moments, setting down uh, two healing potions on the counter. <laughs> before walking over to a display shelf, unlocking it with a set of keys that she keeps around her neck, uh, pulling out a another healing potion from behind uh, a, a row of them, uh, as well as a jar of herbs from the top shelf before relocking the cabinet and brings it all back around up front she goes all right with all of this together uh that will come out to ba, 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 ba. and she counts the three potions and the herbs she goes about 80 gold pieces please 80 you said uh yes that is the going price yes okay i give money she takes money and hands you three healing potions, and uh, she takes a, a few scoops out of the jar of herbs, um, seals them in a smaller vial, uh, puts it in like a, a brown paper bag, wraps it, and seals it. And then she writes down something on her notepad once more, uh, takes it off, and basically uh, brushes the back of it with some kind of uh, jar of like opaque liquid she keeps underneath her desk and slaps it on the side of the brown paper bag uh, and it seems to adhese to the surface mm. and she goes just follow the instructions on dosage and uh, you should be good to go for the next 30 days okay thank you my pleasure is there anything else I could do for y'all today look at the others <laughs> No, I'm, I'm all right. The best will be off for me. All right, we'll have a fantastic day. Off we go. Is there any other <laughs> shopping that y'all want to do? As Howl apparently was about to, before I cut them off, was about to hand Sorry. potions. Sorry, my bad. It's okay, yeah, I had uh, one potion to uh, Beyonce and one potion to Yero. And then I keep one for my time. For sale. Thank you, Hal. For sale. Thank you, Hal. Did you have anywhere else you wanted to head to? Shouldn't you get new clothes? New clothes? Look at how. Uh, maybe we get them fixed up a little bit, perhaps. Well, I didn't mean it like a get, you know, completely get new I... clothes or something. I, I meant it as a. Oh. My drip? <laughs> 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 that yee yee ass haircut. <laughs> uh, thank you, Josh, for creating this new Genasi slang that I have to live with. <laughs> as 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 now, I have to make it a canonical fact that at one point your your captain referred to their the way their clothing made them look as drip. And when you asked about Josh, it, that was Genasi Josh. for appearance. Yeah. Because he's a water Genasi. You get it? Like, drip? Because it's your water. Yeah. I thought Sammy said drip. So that was Beatrice like, my drip. But no, I guess. <laughs> your, your drip? Yes, no, my drip is on fleek, Beatrice. <laughs> it is, shall I say, pop. Oh, oh, so so anyway, let's, let's just get my coat fixed up. Uh, hmm, like, perhaps there are things to think. Perhaps I could use well, change of clothes yeah. as well. To be frank, you're a little, you're a little. Uh, you look like an amnesia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, would y'all <laughs> kindly roll me? Uh, whoever's looking for clothes, roll a new investigation check. 
Get ready. All right, all right. Watch this. I'll help the outro. Cool. It mattered so much. Uh, yeah, not great, but well enough to find uh, the the shop. Um, yeah, y'all ask around, and they give you the directions to, to three different clothing shops. Uh, one they say is very high end. One's kind of mid range, and one is just like for standard clothing, like just regular affair. Uh, so where would y'all like to go? Regular affair, I assume. Darrow. Uh, Darrow will go to the mid-range. And Howell, do you force them to go to the mid-range or the high-end? <laughs> mid-range. As, 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 <laughs> as Fiona's just like, ah, yes, cheap clothes, the clearance bin, dope, and she's like, no. <laughs> Get good clothes. I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay for the remains. No, oh. I... Okay. I'll be I, I can I can certainly chip in as well. Oh, you will? Well, I, I was just given a hundred gold. I... <laughs> I... I... Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, y'all head down to uh, the Gilded Quarter, uh, back kind of past the, the Dwarven Trading Outpost. Uh, as you arrive uh, at the... Uh mid-range uh kind of clothing shop uh that was uh that as you as you all walk up like uh you are kind of taken aback at first uh viantra and darrow um and i guess howl because howl kind of wears a lot of like dark and neutral colors um well you wear dark and neutral colors but it's not like you haven't worn clothes with color before uh, as this uh, shop, uh, as it is a storefront, is brightly painted. I mean, like, it is, it is, the wood is uh, cherry wood uh, from the, the scent that you all get off of it. Uh, but it is painted with uh, very outlandish colors to make it bright and eye-catching. Uh, and the the storefront uh, in bright golden letters is uh, painted um, blinding fashions. Oh God! Are, are, are we sure we want to go here? Is this is this really? Yep, fun? yep, yep. We do want to go here. Uh, we want uh, to be here. I like I, the color brown. <laughs> I I must concur. I I do indeed uh, like. Simpler colors. Oh. Let's just go in. Uh, as you all walk inside, uh, there are a wide array of clothing options. Uh, many of them colorful, many of them not. Uh, but all of them are uh, well tailored and well styled. Um, very modest, like not too showy or flashy, even despite the storefront's exterior. Uh, and every ensemble that you see that is on display is perfect, for lack of a better word. Um, and as the bell jingles, uh, you hear from the back, Coming, darlings! Oh, no! Uh, as a uh, rather oh older human man uh, who stands at about six foot two and is incredibly jacked, uh, strolls up in this absolutely bright pink and purple, uh, robe, uh, and is completely bald, uh, and wears a, uh, purple and green, uh, cap with a bright pink feather just jutting out of it. And he goes, hello and welcome to Blinding Fashions. Uh, my fifth storefront uh, that I have set up in the past few years. Business has been good, but when you look like me, <laughs> it's hardly mistaken. I am Soleil Somnus. How may I help you? Oh, God. <laughs> Here we you go. Never Here escape. we go. You can never escape Solar Flare. Hello. I... I... 
I, well, I for one, <laughs> thanks for most. I, I for one would like uh, something to make me, man, <laughs> the tarot voice is usually pretty refined, but sometimes in pitch I jump up like a whole thing. Anyway, and it's r ridiculous. Anyway, I would like, I, <laughs> there, it happened. I would like something, uh, something similar to this, but less raggedy and more refined to look like an, an intellectual, a wizard type. That, that's what I'm after. Ah, certainly, darling. I can, I can work to, to make that your look. I can give it very chic design. So what are you feeling? Uh, colors or more neutral tones? More neutral. Neutral tones, certainly. I can see. I mean, with your current appearance, it, um, uh, it, it won't be hard to do. Uh, I will say, though, with your, your uh, delightful mane and eye color, I can certainly make a few things pop if you'd like. But if you're looking for the drab, I can definitely do something that's a little more accentuated than your current ensemble. I believe just the drab will, will do. <sighs> oh, if you insist. <laughs> and he looks over at Viatra and he goes, and oh god! <laughs> I, I, um, he hello. Uh, what in the nine hells are you wearing? It's, uh, what we wore at sea. Um, oh. And he just stops for a second and goes, a sailor? <laughs> well, I used to work in a harbor town, you know. Oh, that's, that's... Tell me, whereabouts did you sail? I'm Young almost... strapping men such as yourself, you've probably seen all corners of the world. Hmm? Uh, yeah, well, I've, I've seen... Uh, I've seen most of the, the north side of the map, per se. I haven't really uh, explored much of the south, but I've seen everything, every island in between, per se. <laughs> Oh, interesting, interesting. Have you ever been out west? A, a little bit. I haven't spent all my time there, but uh, I was actually where I resided for. Yeah, I've, res I've resided there for a little while, actually, before I started sailing. Oh, wonderful. Have you ever been to a place called Stone Harbor? Have I been to a place called Stone Harbor? Roll a history check, and I will also need one from Howl. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, how it, it feels familiar, but you don't know. And Viantra, yes, you have docked there once before. You didn't stay there long, but you you, you did visit the town. Uh, it was a very thriving community. Oh, uh, for, for a short while, actually. Um, it was just a, it was a quick docking, though. It wasn't anything uh, extensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. Well, I'm glad that you've been to my neck of the woods. Um, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> the fucking chat. I'll need to calm down for a second. Let me t tell my narrative. <laughs> um, I just I just need a little... Uh, like, I just need this all fixed up and less uh, ripped and such oh you did a lot current... more than that darling but i can if you're content for mundane i can i can do something that's, that's all i really need are you sure i have affordable rates i can do something extravagant i i would do, like to do, keep do, this do. as my as my as my regular attire but perhaps you could make me something special for more formal evenings that I can do, my spry little <laughs> sailor. <laughs> and and turns to turns to Hal and goes, and well, you're already dressed quite fine, but if you would like to accentuate any features or request new garb, I am certainly taking commissions. Okay, thank you. You sure? Mm -hmm. Just just fix. That I can do. Thank you. After all, they don't call me Soleil the Miracle Worker for nothing. 
about to scream. <laughs> and uh, he goes ahead and takes down, uh, he, he goes ahead and pulls out his measuring tape and he takes your measurements and goes ahead and writes down a few notes and uh, takes note of your current clothing, your complexion, your uh, hair and eye color, your uh, structure, and goes ahead and makes a few small sketches and notes and then goes, well, I will have everything ready for you in about three days. So if you all are back in my neck of the woods, uh, please swing by and I will go ahead and take care of everything for you. I don't ask for, for payment up front. I only ask upon completion so that you know that my work is good. If there were anything I was requiring, such as materials for specific garments, I would ask for payment up front. But you all are keeping it simple, so just pay me when I, you see you next. Of course. I will be around then. Ah, wonderful. I hope you sail back into my port soon. Of course. Gone, <laughs> <laughs> gone, gone. <laughs> Josh, come on. I don't know what you have against Solar. He's the best. I don't like it. <laughs> I still, I still, two, two campaigns in have never talked to this man once. <laughs> and probably never will. Yeah. I love him, but I, I, I'm, I'm frightened. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I like the idea as well that Arya still has that fucking dress and she's never worn it. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, yeah. sits in a fucking closet of shame. Uh. <laughs> or better yet, when she became Master of the Thieves Guild, she fucking sealed it in a chest and just chucked it in the ocean. <laughs> I, or no, it's like like one of the most guarded possessions in like yeah. some sort of vault or something. It's like, yeah, her yes, her yes. Her, ma her master thieves vault it it rests upon a pedestal of ivory hidden in the deepest recesses of the dungeon. Uh, yes, please. No one can ever know my secret. <laughs> her darkest. No, no, her her her. No her, one can ever know her, my shame. Her, her deepest failure was not the betrayal of her friends. No, it it, it was that damn. It, it was, was accepting that, damn that dress. dress. Is that damn threads? <laughs> All right. I mean, it All probably right. does like actually sit in a vault because like Hessian commissioned that for her, so she's probably like, uh, "It's yeah. dead to me." <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Anyway, for Nyla and anyone else who doesn't know what we're talking about, we should move on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. So. So now that uh every y'all have finished your shopping uh. Is that all you wanted to do? Is just get clothes and get potions? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Jesus Christ! A lot of shopping, apparently. Okay. This is one thing, and I want to split from the no others. <laughs> good, good, goodbye. <laughs> uh, uh how? Where? Where are you going? It's none of your business. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, right, right, of course, my apologies. <laughs> no, you, you, you push, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I thought, I thought it was customary to not butt in. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll let him be. I have to talk to you. <laughs> 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 and we'll, we'll, we'll go back to the, uh, to the estate. Gotcha. All right, Hal, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for if anyone knows about, uh, God, I forgot their name already again. All right, uh, Hal's fucking going to church. Take me to church. I wish oh, I could worship like good that. things always happen when we go to church. We better not get copyrighted. Uh, we have a wonderful won't. track record. We have a run wonderful track record of occasionally getting copyrighted for stuff that we do or say, but you know, that's that's life. Um. By the way, like while you go to church, uh, Lucian and Searsha, is there anything else that y'all wanted to do? I mean, I know Lucian wanted his own shopping adventures. Oh, sorry, me, Searsha, and I finish apples. I, what am I do? What do I do? What am uh, I do? Mm -hmm. What yes. am I do? What you do? What, what is what? what... Oh. Well, what time is it? Uh, 
I mean, okay, so here's the chain of events as I understand them. You all arrive in town. You drop off products. You go to Sirsha's house. S y'all chillax and relax. Sirsha almost dies. Y'all spend a considerable amount of time investigating and then mm -hmm. looking into shit. Uh, a day passes. Y'all figure out some leads. Y'all investigate those. Guy gets killed. You find out more leads. Oh. So right now I'd say it's like late afternoon. Like it's great. That's oh, wait. Yeah, it's okay, so yeah, a lot of us thought that all happened in one day. No, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, did we? I would never do that to y'all in one day. No, no, no. Was I? Not... I'm sorry. I, if I wasn't clear, no. I thought hey, that been... all happened in one day. No, it's been <laughs> it's been it's been 48 hours. Hey, okay, so this, the way we saw it was, you know, they arrived. She got poisoned. That was like mid like morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> mid afternoon or uh in in the early yeah whatever whatever that's the that's the answer we're going that's down the... we go and fight and then we're coming home at night time no it's it's been over 24 hours like you okay. you investigated the other dude's house like the next day yeah, okay regardless. i did not pick up on <laughs> no it's okay you said you wanted to be like after you were poisoned you said you want to be left alone and rest and, you know, people kept bothering you, but then you're like, I want to be left alone and rest, so I gave y'all enough rest time. Yeah. I just assumed that the, the, the nerd squad was in the fucking library for forever. Probably. Cool. So I gave y'all I gave y'all time. So, okay, great. Where were... Oh, yeah, right. Um, man. So what are, what are we doing after we finish our food? Sirsha, you got stuff uh, to do. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Silas to come over. I have some stuff to talk about with him. All right. Well, he's not coming over till tomorrow. Oh, he's not. <clears throat> no. Uh, hmm. As y'all said, tomorrow. Yeah. I thought tomorrow was today. No, it's not. Uh. <laughs> I, it'll work out. It'll work out. Whatever. We, we, yeah. <laughs> and probably uh, send someone to tell him to come or shit. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's going to come over tomorrow regardless. If you want him to come over today, he could do that. But yeah. he's in the midst of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> working on his father's last will and testament. Right. And we need to leave tomorrow. Well, that's not that's not my thing to figure out. I'll leave that to you. Uh, he had some shopping, right? I don't need to. I don't have anything in particular I need at the moment. You said you wanted paint. Yeah, that's just for the road, though. We're not really going to have much of a chance to be doing that in the, in the Dreaming, in Dreaming Wilds woods. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. What are your plans for the rest of the day? Uh, finishing up paperwork, probably. Ah. The last stuff I didn't fix, and then... What do I want to do? Well... If you have some free time, call me. But I think I'll get out of your hair for now. Okay. Yeah. Right. and what is Lucian going to do? I mean, I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go into town and walk around and see what I run into. All right. Uh, and then, Sirsha, are you gonna work on the the gun again, or what you doing? I am not gonna work on the gun. Just, uh, just gonna just gonna chill, or uh, okay. Um. She's probably going to find... Alright. As we probably were. Hello? Yep. Yeah, he kind of cut out there at the end. I am so sorry. My internet is so spotty. Tonight. No, I meant, I meant Colin cut out there at the end. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, you cut out there at the hmm? end. You said as we, and then you just stopped talking. 
Actually, I don't remember that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, regardless, right, talking about I'm just heading out into town, letting the letting the whims of fate decide where I end up. <laughs> and Saoirse, what you doing? For that painting. Because the one that was described in the book. Okay. I think she knows where she put it, so I'll go try and find it. So wait, you never destroyed it? She never destroyed it. She put it away. Uh, yeah, you... <laughs> You'll find it lined up, like facing the back wall of the storage closet. With their sorry, sorry, no. sorry. You'll, 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 yeah, you'll, you'll find it. Uh, you oh. know, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, uh, just roll an investigation check, and then Lucian, I don't know, roll a whimsy check if you have that. I don't, but I can roll. A, I don't know. I don't know. Just like, well, how how many different places do you have prepared? And I'll roll a, no, a, a uh, I'll, I'll do a random num number generator. I don't know for which place I. End I mean, up. are you are you are you just wandering to wander? I'm honestly just wa I'm honestly just wandering to like see what see what just see what there is. Just, if anything catches my eyes, and be like, oh, interesting. I'm I I I don't around. know what would catch your eyes, so you I don't know. I don't know. You gotta you gotta tell me what Lucian would like to see in this moment. I want to roll a random number to see what shop I. I just want to just like go into a random shop. That's honestly. So so, I, so I, first shop Lucian sees boom going in it. Yes. Yes. Roll me a D eight. Okay. Eight. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. I'll get I'll get to you in just a second, Sirsha. It's gonna take like a shitload of time. Uh, You're all good. And and how I swear I will get to your church stuff later. Uh, but first I, I this is too good. I have to I have to do this. I, I don't, oh I like this. I like your hat. I like. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So the first thing that catches your eyes because you you had apples, but you're like, man, that wasn't really fucking filling. I just like. There was a good crunch, but like, it was just super sweet and and I don't know, like, our from what you've eaten thus far, like, I assume Lucian's food tastes are kind of more like he likes things that are more savory. Yeah, probably. Definitely. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> you find something that kind of off puts you, uh, called the Salty Brine Bakery. Huh. And you're like, I don't. How does? Hmm. It's an interesting name. Uh, and and as you walk in, uh, you you see uh, someone at the front of the 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 counter yelling angrily at what you could as like w at, at a figure behind them. Uh, as this uh, high elven woman just kind of like jabs angrily and goes, "Look, this." This is not what I asked for, okay? You're going to remake it, and you're going to do it now, all right? Do you know who I am? And he goes, Listen, listen, my young mistress. There's no need to be croissant with me. <laughs> it's the bread goblin! And she's like, Are you making fucking bread puns? He's like, Now, now, please. There's no need to be crummy. Pop! Pop! And she goes, I. You. Ugh! And just like turns around and just goes, I want to see. And just immediately wheels around and goes, I want to see your manager. And he goes, Young miss, you seem to be mistaken. There is no baker higher than me. I rise to the occasion. And she goes, and you can just, Lucian, you can feel the rage emanating off this woman and she just wheel turns and like, you can see the vein popping on her face as she just like storms out past you, like shoulder checks you. Oh. oh. And behind the counter, you see this, this well-groomed bugbear who's just standing there and he goes, she had no need to be so rude. 
I guess she couldn't stand up to my wry wit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. What can I do for you, young man? Sorry, I'm in delightful mood. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, now, this is, bake this is bakery? Ah, yes. This is the Salty Brine Bakery. I didn't pick the name. I wish I... I wish I had the choice to change it. As he, oh, gets, as he gets a thousand yards stare. Well, we, business partner? Or? As he snaps back and he goes, No, cousin! But he's dead to me now. Hmm. <laughs> what would you change the name to out of curiosity? Ah, something delightful, such as, um... Well, a majority of the things that we bake here are of a savory nature, so salt, salty brine bakery isn't wrong, but I would change it to something that entices all forms of individuals, something such as, uh, hmm, the honeyed sweet roll. As you say, as they say, you attract more fly, uh, flies with honey than vinegar. I believe that's a saying. If it's not a saying, I'll make it one. Hell yeah, man. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I, man. Have, I, have, I have yet to make your acquaintance. And he does like a very deep and eloquent bow with his long ass bugbear arms and he goes, Pan rise well at your service. <laughs> uh, Lucian. Just Lucian. So, uh... Well, just like a, uh, well, Lucian, just Lucian. How may I be of assistance to you today? Yeah, you got like a house special or something. Something I don't know. Really, I don't really know what I'm looking for right here. I'm just wandering. I no. have quite many house specials, and you will need to be a little a bit more specific. Do you want something sweet, something savory, something a little bitter, perhaps, something salty? Uh, surprise me. Oh. Many a moon have I waited for someone to utter the words. Surprise me. I shall do my best, sir. Cool. Take a seat right there, Mr. Just Lucian. You shall be surprised. And he runs to the back with some, like, demented fervor. I, I turned to, is the woman still present? <laughs> no, she, she shoulder-checked you and stormed out. All right. I take a seat. Uh, you take a seat, and you, you kind of realize, like, you you do realize that it probably is the name that's off-putting to people, as this place is just absolutely dead. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the there's a few different like pictures and and awards hanging on the wall, but the one thing that stands out to you is uh specifically uh a, a picture of this bugbear gentleman shaking hands with. Uh, another bugbear who Pan obviously looks kind of like disgruntled in this picture because they're standing in front of what you would assume is like the the first picture taken of this establishment that you're in right now. Uh, whereas the other bugbear looks like super excited and is given like a thumbs up to the photographer. So you could mm. just assume that this is like the day the name was picked out and Pan heard it for the first time and he was just like, ugh. Hmm. Okay. You hear a mad... Oh, that, of... the, the cousin's the one with the thumbs up, but yeah, the she's cousin. not, she's not a, she's not a bugbear. Both of them are bugbears. Bug oh, they're both bugbears. Okay. okay. In, in the photo, both of them are bugbears because they are cousins. Cool. But the lady who stormed out was not a bugbear. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was a high elf. That is what I was asking. Okay. Yeah, no, she the lady who stormed out, not a high elf. Or Got not, it. not a bugbear, high elf. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh and as you're you're sitting and waiting for your meal, you hear a large amount of clanging in the back. Yeah. Huh. Well while he, while he's busy, I'm gonna like go see if like <laughs> the woman's still like hanging around like outside the the, the place. Uh, as you walk outside, she is definitely pacing back and forth, uh, just kind of like muttering to herself. She seems like furious. 
You're doing good? You're doing all right? She just goes, don't talk. Oh, it's you. What do you want? No, no, no. Just, just, just. Your, uh, cousin, he called you? Seems, uh. You, you are, I, I am going to have to be even clearer. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You, he said cousin, so I got His cousin no, I named know. the place. In the place. Got it. She is not his cousin. She is a no, customer. I know, I know. Okay. Okay. He's got confused. Hey. Oh, wait, she's a customer. Yeah, she's a customer. Got and she it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> you know what? Davin, are you okay? Do you need to. No. Uh, no. Do you need to lay no. off something or be on more of something? No. 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 Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll go sit down. Be one sec. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm worried. You okay? I flinged my, one sec. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm Are you back. good? Yeah, I I've, I've flinged my uh, hairband across the room by accident. Anyway, <laughs> I'm fine. Let's see. So, come here often? Not anymore. Yeah, I feel you. She just kind of seems like... She's eyeing you up and down, like, trying to gauge, like, what your motive is here. So what do you want? I don't know. I gotta whip up something special in the back. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm just in a mood, I guess. I don't know. What's your story? <laughs> I don't know why this random phrase. Yeah. What well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> what brings you here? <laughs> she just kind of like eyes you up and down. Uh... And, and mutters something under her breath, uh, which you have heard all too familiarly, uh, all uh -huh. too many times in your life. Uh, it is, uh, specifically, uh, Elvish slang. Yep. Uh, it is, uh, judging by her dialect, you would place it in the eastern regions, uh, or sorry, the western regions of the continent of Darius, uh, specifically, native to in and around this region which is home to the kingdoms of Lian Shea and uh you know Estera uh and the the term she used is not something that you've heard in Estera outside of that one time you were staying at the the the, the moon drop in mm. and it is a slang term referring to humans and it is not favorable respect the fire not the well Apologies. I'll be uh, heading back. Yeah, see. you do that. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Have a good day. She just kind of, like, gives you a gesture that isn't friendly. Mm-hmm. I love how Lucian's just like, yeah, here's this woman who's clearly standoffish and shitty. Let's make friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, for a moment he was like, ooh. <laughs> He's like, but no, no, no. It's, it's, it's stupid. Anyway, all my bread. Uh, you you come in. Right on, uh, the, right on the floor. <laughs> as you as you open the door, uh, there is a loud explosion that goes off in the back. What the fuck? Okay. And then you hear uh more clanging, followed by what sounds like a train whistle. <laughs> all right. And then you just hear. It's finished! And he runs out mm -hmm. with what you can only describe as, like, the most pristine pressed sandwich you've ever seen in your life. Oh. Uh, and... Just quick question. Is it the first time Lucian's ever seen a panini in his life? 
No, but it's not something he's probably eaten on on many occasions. Uh, yeah, so it is, like, both sides are perfectly browned. Um, you're not sure what bread he used, but it gives off a very aromatic fragrance. Um, uh, not even to mention, like, the, the toppings that are actually in this sandwich. Uh, it seems to be a wide array of meats and cheeses uh, with a, th- a few mixed vegetables on the side. Uh, it seems like you could add it at your leisure. Um, there seems to be a glaze on the uh, underside of the bread, like the side that's touching the, the meats and cheeses. Um, and there is also what appears to be... Uh, you're not sure if it's a dipping sauce or spreadable sauce, but it's on the side in a cup. Oh, my... This 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 is this is beautiful. I I I I don't know if I'm ready for this. Not many are able to venture beyond the gate known as Prize, Sir Jest Lucian. Mm. But I believe you are ready to begin your bread journey. I will take the first step, and I will take a bite of the sandwich. Uh it is amazing like it is with just a single bite uh every well i should say most of your senses are are a light like this is it's sweet it's salty and savory all together like the glaze on the underside appears to be some kind of like actual like it seems like he actually put some form of honey on the uh, underside of the bread so it looks like he he uh kind of like browned the outsides with butter and then glazed the insides with honey and then uh you know like cooked that too so it kind of like actually coated and caramelized the underside of the bread uh then the meats and cheeses of course uh, are a combination of salty and savory uh the way he has layered them uh is very unique and very perfectly placed so that each flavor uh, in this arrangement uh, complements the next. What do I owe you? He goes. He he just looks down and sees like the 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 vegetable medley and the the sauce, and he goes, another bite, with the vegetable medley and sauce. Very well. As you put the vegetable medley in, in between the, the slices as he shows you where to put them uh, and you dip it in the sauce and take a bite, uh, completely changed. Now all five flavors are on display. It's it's bitter and spicy uh, in the areas where you, you bite into the vegetables and the sauce, but there's still that sweetness and savoriness and saltiness that, that exists in the sandwich as a base. It is indescribable. Your senses are alight. It is... It has taken you to the next step of your bread journey. Oh. And he's just like, enjoy your sandwich, and that will be two silver. I place it down. And he, he, he takes the two silver, puts it in his register, and then, like, bows and walks backwards into the kitchen. <laughs> I'll tell bards of this, of the, of this, of this sandwich, of this bread, of this. <laughs> Your tale will be sung, friend. I promise you. <laughs> I imagine like Lucian's gonna be like, "Yo, bro, you gotta try out Fantasy Subway." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, did you... I couldn't tell the moment, but did you miss the bready for this pun? I couldn't. Uh, I, I did, like... I did, I did. Oh, uh, no. I did not catch it, and now I feel bad. I'm so... Oh, no. <laughs> did. Well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out uh, with the sandwich. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay in there to finish it. Uh, I, I, I wanna, Lucian, like, Lucian I, I wanna, slaps like, into to-go boxes. I wanna, like, I wanna, I like, sneak around into, like, I wanna, I wanna try and find, like, the lady who I, who, who, like, got the, who, like, was very un... The, that's the other woman and i want to like i want to like find her see where she's walking and i want to like walk like a- across from her like on the side of the street and like just like, clearly visible just like eating the sandwich and like in full view so she can see 
Uh, yeah, she's still pacing out front, uh, and she uh, sees okay, you kind okay, of, like, okay. scurry out with the sandwich, and she's just kind of confused, and so I imagine, like, you just stop at the other side I'm of like, the street. I just, like, just, take a bite, and I'm like, mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> just keep walking. She is just aghast at this blatant disregard for her outrage. Uh... Uh, yeah, so you've acquired one kick-ass sandwich. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll head back to the manor. That's all I need to do for shopping. <laughs> I like the idea that Lucian's just, like, goes to Roshin and is just like, you've gotta fucking try this sandwich. And she tries it and she goes, I must hire this man! <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm absolutely gonna do that off camera. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so how? Uh, church. Uh, so you ask around, um, about the Elven Pantheon in order to kind of get more information on this god you have specific questions about. Um, uh, let me look up my... Let me look up my list of gods. Uh, yes, it's uh, Lebelas and Arath, uh, the god of time, history, and knowledge. Yep. Or, sorry, memories. It it's, says knowledge on this Wikipedia, but I remember him being the god of time, history, and memories. Uh, so, yeah. You, you ask around, basically, like, hey, so... Uh, where where can one learn about the elven gods and people are more than happy to be like oh right this way to come with us to church um so you arrive at uh this temple to the elven gods um and that's the first thing you kind of notice is like you've been to a lot of temples to like western gods among the uh, when your family used to live in uh salt cliff amongst the vault imperium um, and you all saw your own different styles of churches when you moved to Pearl Bank in Darius. Uh, but this is your first time actually being in a predominantly elven denomination. Um, and they do worship a lot differently here. Um, in human societies and a lot of different mixed cultures, traditionally the way it's done is that most temples are dedicated to a pantheon of gods um and depending on the region that might be that one is more ensconced than the other uh with elven temples as far as you can tell uh every god is worshipped in their full capacity with the only god ever being at the predominant like head is Corel and lorethian their their primary deity um and most uh, like and and they're and even then they're not like worshipped in like a huge uh altar kind of capacity like there is a mosaic on the ceiling depicting uh Karel and Lorethian uh, as their form expands across the sky and stars uh becoming the night sky um fostering you know, like imagination in uh thought and magic in all the elves uh as this Sistine Chapel roof-esque mosaic depicts um but every other elven god is also given their own appropriate facing like there are uh statues or mosaics in different parts of the temple dedicated to each god so no one necessarily has more worship than the other outside of again Corellan. Did I leave in the middle of you explaining all of it? You yeah, Zami said that she had to ago. leave. Yeah. God damn it. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I, yeah. I, de I depict this fucking Vatican City church, and she's like, be your be. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking kidding me. Yeah. It's probably something important. Yeah, I know it's something important. I will just... say, I will say, while, while we're paused, I didn't want to interrupt the flow of conversation. 
I'm gonna need to go a bit earlier than I thought I did, probably like a 10:30ish. Right. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll, yeah, if you got a dip, you got a dip, bro. Like we we appreciate you st yeah. sticking it out for this and commissioning. I would have stayed for the whole thing, but I've been like um, in a agreement with my parents that I'll get off the computer around 10:30ish, 11ish, earlier in the night, so I don't oversleep. I gotcha. Or undersleep. I mean, we won't be running for too much longer. Like, we'll we'll do a few more scenes, and then I'll probably call it a night. Like, mm. but uh, right. no, like I, I get you. Like, if you got a dip, you got a dip. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure, man. It's right. great having you. Have a good night. It's been a pleasure playing Darrow today. Good morning. Hopefully, hopefully, good hopefully, you. hopefully good next week when we when we play, I can get things done a little get things done at work a little sooner and get out of there when I need to. Oh yeah, no problem. It wasn't, it wasn't on you. Uh, all right. See you guys. I hope you have a good rest of the session and a good night. You too. Hmm. Well, yep, while we wait for Zamer to pop back up, uh, let's do yep. everyone else's uh, kind of beats and scenes. Rick. What do y'all want to do? I'm still looking for the picture. Okay, we'll do that while I wait for Z uh, Zami to come back. Um, yeah, with that investigation check, like it, it takes you a lot longer than you were expecting. Um, I would say that while you are looking for it, that would be when Darrow and Viantra come back. Um, I, I'm just going to have Darrow tail you, Viantra, so where do you want to go? Do, do you really gotta ask? Do you... <laughs> yeah, both of you go to the library, you filthy yeah. humans. I... I'll write in my journal. <laughs> write your fucking letter, you, you godless oh, human. Oh, write my letter, you're right. Uh, <laughs> I'll pull out, pull out paper and start writing the letter. <laughs> my, my dearest Elizabeth. <laughs> I, I, I joke. I, I I know the name of your actual beloved, but yeah. I miss the Darcy. <laughs> oh, what's her name? My my dearest Elizabeth, it is, it is forever yours, Viantra Crisaris, also known as William Turner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do this. Wait, anymore. why did I think you? Did you like tell us your name was Elizabeth? No, because I. Oh no no, it's not. I'm just I'm just making a joke because I yeah. when I think of like old Victorian names like as. as uh, a sailor writes to his beloved from afar. I always think he's just going, my dearest Elizabeth. <laughs> it has been many months since I have set out to sea. Okay. <laughs> How are you? I'm. I'm. I mean, more like. Uh, oh wait, no. What, what, what was the name you gave us then? I Nothing. I gave you. Oh, did I never give a name? No, you just said I have a beloved. No, you just said I have a girlfriend. Ah, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you might have made that exact same joke then, because I I totally thought her name was Elizabeth. <laughs> No, I, I never made a joke like that before. Okay. Uh, so yeah, y'all go there. Um, where, like, actual question, where did you actually hide it? Uh, one of the storage rooms. It was just locked. I think I wrote that down. I, is that some of the new stuff that you added? No, I think I, either I wrote it or I thought I wrote it. Shit. I don't know. Did I not? It's somewhere, and you find it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you you find the painting. What do you what do you do with it? Uh, she'll probably take it out of the frame. Mm hmm She'll find a uh fireplace, and she'll burn it. Cool, cool. She'll first clean. She'll first probably try to clear out whatever is there first, or hopefully it's already been cleaned, and she'll put it in. Yeah, the fire. Uh, you you find it uh, not far from the like uh, storage area. There's actually like a furnace. Mm -hmm. Um, it's mostly used for like. Mostly used for heating, less like, you know, oh, a fireplace, ooh, fancy. Like, it's it's like an actual furnace furnace for, like, heating or the destruction of, like, food scraps or whatever. Like, it's just basically 
It's it serves many a purpose. It's a, it's a it's a multi-purpose furnace. Hmm. All right, so she'll burn it. Hopefully, it burns quickly. Uh, it it it's been sitting in a storage room for a while. It's a little dry. It kind of goes up like t- kindling. Mm. Is there any ashes left over? <laughs> no. Shit. Or at least if there are, there's not any that you could get out of there right now while the furnace is going. Mm. She'll wait. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think about this. Well. You gotta put thought into your destruction of property. Otherwise, you'll end up trying to burn down a guard barracks and accidentally lock a bunch of people inside and just kind of have to live with that guilt. Well. There was I no mean, guilt. I mean, I would Shut take it back. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I would take it back, but I've already done it. it. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be a while before it, like dies down um unless you want to like cut the like you basically like the, it's it's a furnace that, that does again serve as a purpose for heating but basically if you like give an order to servants be like hey don't throw anything in here until the flames die out yeah like she'll probably do that yeah so they they belay all burning of stuff to keep the furnace going so uh they do let you know that the house might be a little cold tonight more of a temperature than a you catch she, she you just, catch the meaning of the words. Yeah, no, she just wants to wait until she can get, at least get like anything that was remaining out, or at least, yep, if there was anything. Uh, I mean, there's definitely ashes in the furnace. You just don't know if they're from the painting. She'll take a little bit out. Okay. Gonna hope. All right. I will find a loot hole box. And put the ashes in. Gotcha. Um, and then she probably knows where her mother's uh, headstone is, so she'll head out that way. Okay. Um, uh, she'll find it. I do have a shovel with me, which is nice. Um... She'll dig a bit down, probably like a foot or and a half down, or maybe two feet, and she'll put the box in and put the dirt back on. Gotcha. Yeah, you uh, you give final rest to the the memory. She'll head back. Zami also appears to still not be back yet. Uh, so, is there anything else anyone wanted to do? Your wishing. <laughs> uh, y- yes, Mister Lucian. Uh, please note the establishment of the, what was it? The Salt Brian. There's, there's salt like brine, a really good salt, sandwich salt shop around the, around. I I described the area and. Yeah, I I advise looking into it. I will give it uh, some some cursory investigation and see what uh, some of my staff thinks of it. Very good, very good. That's it. <laughs> Sirs is busy, but I told her to. Call me if you need me, so I'll just be chilling. Be chilling. I'll uh, I'll probably like go bother the, the the nerds. Uh, all right. Well, well, nerd. Uh, how's how's the construction of your letter going? It's probably probably a lot of cro- a lot of crossing out. And then I realized that I can't send a letter that I've crossed out. So there's a bunch of like piles of there's a pile of like crumbled up paper next to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As as Darrow like keeps eyeing the progressively larger pile of paper, <laughs> but saying nothing as he is polite. Uh is this for that Elizabeth check? That's not her name. You ever gave me a name. <laughs> for some reason, I thought her name was Elizabeth. Forget it. Uh, it it's yeah. It's for for the 
one back home. I'm gonna take one of the crumpled up piece of paper and open it up. <laughs> Do I have to come up with something on the spot? You can give me like a gist. <laughs> you can give me something. My something dearest now. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron, you did give us the name. I just yeah, it's, very uh, similar to Elizabeth. Uh, just just talking about everything that went down. We'll talk about that there was a shipwreck. <laughs> Nothing more than Wait, that. Wait, you haven't talked to her since the shipwreck? Oh no. I mean, I I think we did say that I talked to her. Uh, what happened? I'll tell her. I do. Do I tell her that Karina got kidnapped? Oh fuck. <laughs> do you? <laughs> Sure, sure. I'll, I'll like, I'll like sprinkle it in though. I won't like go through it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that we're dealing with uh, political debauchery, or we have dealt just dealt with political debauchery. Um, in that I am currently exploring the world in a way that I never have before. Um, and that I wish I could have done it with her. That's like the gist of what I would have had so far. But like it, you know, more. <laughs> yeah, 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 the the incidental Canadian kidnap part, I might want to work on that. But other than that, very nice, very nice, very nice. I, 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 I feel uncomfortable. I don't want to like talk about all the awful things that have went down. Um, no, I imagine not. I feel like that's especially like you know. Oh, my sister was kidnapped. How do I? I feel like it's a conversation in person to have. Yeah, or you maybe tone down like the 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 uh, prose flowery bullshit. I don't know, whatever whatever this weird shit is that you're writing. Uh, uh, it's called it's called being in love, Lucian. Uh, I don't know if you've experienced it. Um, yeah, this ain't the love I'm into. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> Walker. No, this is this is this is more this is delusion. This is more like this, this is more uh like super superficial than anything Lucian is interested in. Like, like the, to him, the this sort of like weird poetry bullshit is like ugh, that, that's that's. I'd cheap. like to write poetically. I do not see the issue with this. I'm sorry that it's it, you don't have to enjoy it. No, 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 no. You're not you're not wooing me. <laughs> Yeah, hi. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, is is that all? Is it just I say like I might. Did you come pile? here to bully my writing? <laughs> I, I might like pile. Oh man, <laughs> it's tough. It's. it's... I am. I, yeah. I mean, like, what? Well, I mean, if you got her, what do you? What are you doing? Like bouncing around all over the place um why not settle down well right now i don't have the ability to um my sister who says back. who says my moral compass fair enough <laughs> oh right yeah that well i mean before your sis the whole that situation started well this should this should probably be a conversation for a later time. I'd rather I... get into my psyche, perhaps, right now. Fair enough. I also don't know you very well. In fact, I don't think I know anything about you. No, we don't, we, we don't talk much. Just you know. No. And when hey, Darrow. You, you make fun of me. He j Darrow hello, just... I'm, <laughs> I'm Darrow. <laughs> Darrow just goes, ah, uh, yes, um, hello. And he just goes God. back into reading his book. Yep, that's exactly what I was going for. Great, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, what was I saying? Maybe oh, I don't know. Like a, a real conversation at some point that doesn't involve you making fun of anything I'm doing. I'm not making fun. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm not picking. Sure, all right. <laughs> I got it. I'll leave you alone with 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 your poems and whatnot for now. Uh, not making fun. I'm just. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking, man. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm just talking. Yes, let's. Uh, we're gonna. If we're gonna. If we're, if we're marching to death and back. Yeah. You know, chat. Chat him up. You know. I don't yeah. know. You get. You get what I'm going for. Let's let's have a conversation when things calm down a little yeah. bit. Things are calm right now. That's kind of I, why I asked you this. Oh, yeah. really? I I kind of yeah. have the feeling that one of our party members are. are 
devastated at the death of a family member. Um, so calmer than usual, I'll say. I, 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 I <laughs> if you say so, I your definition. Of well, let me make this perfectly clear. This is more to do with what happened uh, at her uncle's place when we were all picking sides with whatnot, and Regis was doing all that. What a I bad. saw you hesitated. I did. Yeah. Just makes I... me want to know why you're here. Just in, just out in general. In general. Well, currently yeah. I'm only with you all because my sister was stolen. Oh, I'm aware. So, I don't know what else you're expecting to get than that. If you expect... All I to... asked is why, 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 why be a sailor traveling all whatnot and where we could just be with, uh, this, um, the radiant flower? <laughs> Looks at the... <laughs> we crumpled up. <laughs> oh, that was, that was, uh, that was, uh, fifth draft. Gotcha. But, uh... <laughs> All my is like, oh, fifth draft. You don't have to be grabbing for the recent pile. <laughs> mm. But yes, um... I mean, I was a sailor, sailor because I enjoyed the sea and I liked map making. Why I'm out right now shouldn't concern that conversation at all, actually. The reason I hesitated is because I had other things I had to get done. Mm. Including saving my sister, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know if you have anyone to go back to, but if I died there, it wouldn't have left a good impression. Oh, is how has Howl to uh, told uh, us yet about the 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 dusk rock? Uh, he told Darrow and Beyondra. He hasn't told you. Great. And you didn't ask. Yeah. <laughs> oh, forget it. Uh Yeah. Uh you get yeah, you you get back to that. I'll uh see you around. See you around. I will get back to writing. Alright, and we're gonna pick up with Zami. Uh so I have no idea how much of the actual description of this temple you actually heard. because uh, everyone informed me that you left after I finished describing the temple, so yeah. I don't know. I heard, like, they dragged me into the temple, and that's when I got dragged somewhere else. Okay, uh, so the temple itself is different than, uh, standard temples of, like, human gods or, like, mixed, uh, racial community gods in the sense that every single elven god is given their own spot, um, and every single one of them is not elevated in any specific way except for the primary deity of their pantheon, Corel and Lorethian, who is, as you look up, a very detailed mosaic is painted uh, on the ceiling, depicting uh, Corellin amidst the field of stars that they call their home uh, as their celestial body uh, spans the night sky, and they inspire uh, around the ring of the mosaic uh, various elves in the fields of uh, magic, knowledge, and you know, just generally good goodness. Uh, and yeah, so every god is given their own spot. I will walk up to him. I already forgot his name. <laughs> Can't see him. Oh, it's going to be a drinking game for that god. Um... Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the god in question is ba -ba 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 -ba. oh Jesus Christ even I've oh, here we go Levelas and Arath okay alright got it as you walk over to labels uh, <laughs> uh, yeah as you walk over to uh, Levelas's shrine uh, you notice that um, there's only one priest. Like, a couple other shrines have, like, a couple different priests, but there's only one priest for uh, Levelas, and he just kind of, like, sees your approach. He goes, Ah, hello. Hello. It is not often that we find 
humans in our midst, but I am willing to answer any questions or curiosities you have, uh, as well as point you in a direction if you have specific business with any of the members of our priesthood. Oh, okay. Um, I'll kind of like look through. Apologies, are you not a contractor or mercenary? Um, not, not really. Hmm. I'm just a normal person. Nothing new or different or special or anything of the sort. Well, I can see that, but I'm wondering more why you are in a church to elven gods. Oh, because I've heard about him. Um, and I, I saw him. It's really weird story, very long. Mm. wouldn't want to explain to you. Um, and that went well, yeah, I just have questions about him. He just kind of chuckles as you're like, you know, really long story, super, super detailed, wouldn't want to bore you. And he's like, please, in the t in the lifetimes it would take you to explain your story, I would far outlive you. That is true. Um... Please. And he just kind of gestures over to a bench near the, the shrine. He goes, have a seat. Let us speak. Oh boy, <laughs> I sit. He sits with you and he goes, What would you like to know? Um, well, I heard so far that he helps people with, I guess, with memory and with souls. Um, in the past, I was wondering if anyone has been successful um, to learn about themselves if they've forgotten something always oh. he is he kind of thinks for a moment he goes the lord of the continuum he is our god of memory um, and time he and Sahanin Moonbow oversee our elongated lifespan as well as ensure that we remember our lives before that our body remembers the experiences the hardships the work and that our minds remember the joys the sorrows and the loves that we have known it is the purpose of that alas to record everything that happens in our lifetime and ensure that the proper memories are put into our next incarnation you see uh... and he kind of thinks for a moment because he, he obviously hasn't talked about this with a, a race that isn't an elf before <laughs> and he goes the way an elven lifespan works essentially is Corellan can create new souls and forge new things, but all souls of elves are taken at some point to Arborea to live amongst their kind for a time before being brought back to this material plane. And when that is done, our memories are recorded by Lebelas and instowed in our new vessel. And these memories emerge after our hundredth year. It is often why elves are not considered full adults until they have had their first memory of a past life. And in our culture, I serve essentially as a spiritual guide, helping young elves through the transition of remembering a lifetime before their own helping them work through the memories and sensations that they have, and ensuring that their future is dictated how they would see fit. Um. And for those of new souls, those that have not been marred by the memories of past lives, I am just here to hear thoughts and feelings and ensure that the proper records are made so that when Lavalas welcomes them 
at the end of their first life that they may be recorded and imbued to their next. Worship and do you just really just have to thank him and take time out of your day? Of course. There is no Lebelus requires no no praise or song, no <clears throat> fervent worship or zealotry. He is just He is the philosopher, the patient teacher, the provider of wisdom. He just asks that we take time to thank him for his work, and that at the end of our life cycle, if we have questions, that we ask them so that he may grow his wisdom and instruct us in new ways of thought. Is it, is it weird for a human... Right, because it would be weird for a human to be here. You already mentioned, yes? Indeed. Uh, it is rare that humans enter into our churches, most because uh, many of you have your own gods or, or deities that you prefer to worship, but additionally because... And please do not take this the wrong way, but it has been my experience in my lifetime that many humans are not keen to change their way of thinking. You kind live such very short lives, and so you are very set in your ways. And while there are a few except individuals who can undergo rapid amounts of change in a short period of time, most of your species is determined to stick to a specific code or alignment that dictates their behaviors and their rationale. And this has just been my experience, of course. I do not wish to speak as an expert on the entirety of your race. That's all right. Um... I'm just going to kind of sit there and think. Um, and for those who see things that are familiar to them, could it participate in that as well? He thinks for a moment, and he goes, If there were those who came to me with questions about things that they found familiar in a setting that they were unfamiliar with, I would listen to what they had to say. I would advise them on my thoughts on the matter. And I would await their next visit to see what new wisdom or insights they have gained into their self after the revelation they have achieved while it is unusual for someone of your kind to be here I feel that if Lebelas has guided you to my door I shall be of assistance however I can be He, he, he kind of thinks for a moment and then just you see him make a gesture and you watch essentially as as the this shrine is kind of like an enclosed space um, but you watch as kind of like the doors close uh, and and he touches a rune and you see a few runes glow on like the walls and he goes this is now a place where you are free to talk and feel safe. If there's something you would like to get off your chest, you can feel free. Oh, man. 
Okay. <laughs> but if you... I do not mean to make you feel pressured. If you cannot talk about it at such a time, if it is painful or if it is confusing, then I will wait for when you are ready. For even if it takes you days or months or even years, the passage of time has no meaning or sensation to me. I shall just greet you then as I have greeted you now. As a fresh friend who seeks answers. Walker, your mic's getting a little glitchy, just letting you know. I am aware of that. I mean. Oh, I mean, Hal's just gonna take a deep breath. So much. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. Um, it just feels so not normal, I suppose. I don't know. I, I was raised like that, I guess, having all these kind of things, and uh, it's it's weird to all of a sudden have someone to talk to about it. And I'm definitely not going to give it up, so I might as well just say what I have to say. If that is your desire. Oh, I get out my journal. <laughs> he and... takes a different seat on the bench so that he can be more comfortable as he feels that this may be a bit of a long discussion. Yeah, <laughs> and I kind of show him a little bits and pieces of the notes. So you don't show him the whole thing, you just show him. Yeah. He looks over it and he goes, hmm, intriguing. Well, it seems definitely that what is detailed here is indeed reincarnation. Now, whether I can attest that it is elven reincarnation is another matter entirely but it seems that you are experiencing memories of a previous existence this is quite fascinating mm. as what you have described is, is practically identical to the elven experience but again and this is the first time I am ever hearing of anything like this happening and so I cannot say if it is exactly elven reincarnation or if it is a separate experience entirely but whatever dreams you have as you have described in this journal they are not visions of impending doom or horrid grim reminders as you have detailed them here, they are memories. They are things that have occurred to you in a previous life. And while it would feel natural to run from them, and believe me, there are many a traumatic experience from lives I have lived before that I wish to forget, they are a part of who we are or were, and they will define who you become. I just wish to remind you, as I have reminded others before you, experiences you have had in a past life can mar your perception of things and can oftentimes challenge you. But I urge you, do not let traumas that have occurred in the past dictate how you behave in the present. That person who these things occurred to, they are gone, and you are not them. What happens with your destiny and with your life is entirely in your own hands. Do you choose who you will be? I 
wasn't expecting this. Um, Neither was I when I woke up this morning, but here we are. Um, so uh, I'll never, I'll never get to talk to this individual ever because they're gone. Who you were before has ceased to be. If by any means or methods you meet the vessel that they were, that person is not you. The only thing that you two will share is your memories of those events. But as it stands now, the soul now resides in you. That person who you were is no person any longer. Whether they have withered away to dust and ash, or in other events, I have known certain elven friends of mine, or previous incarnations of myself, who were raised by necromancers. Those are not me, nor are they my friends anymore. They are just husks of flesh. For the soul now resides in me, and I am who I am. My life before shapes me, but does not define me. The soul is water. It may be marred with impurities, as it has traveled a great distance. But each vessel that the water finds itself in is fresh and new until it enters the new vessel. The water may hold the light and the impurities, but what you do with it is up to you. Wait on me, I suppose. Um. Ah, shit, I killed Zammy again. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Freaking hell, I was just gonna look and cry. <laughs> the elven priest is gonna give you a hug. And he gently pats your head. Because he feels like you probably haven't been hugged in a bit. <laughs> and he realizes as well that you probably weren't told that any of what you were seeing, thinking, or feeling was normal. So he just, he comforts you because he knows that you've been through a lot. Um, I am forever thankful for you. Um, There's no trouble. I am here to listen. I think you have no idea how much this means to me, but I will definitely come back and visit. If ever you find yourself at this temple or any other that shares a shrine to Lavalas, any of our members of our clergy are always here to listen and to guide. And he makes a gesture, and the runes fade, and the doors open. He goes, I look forward to our next talk. Your name? I don't get it. Ah. I am Brother Furion.
There. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Holly. Percival of Angelo. It is a pleasure to meet you, Howell, Percival Evangeline. And he walks out. <laughs> All right. And I would ask if there's anything else anyone wants to do, but I think that seems like a good stopping point for today as we will wrap tonight's session. Oh, Jesus. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I don't have anything outside anyone else approaching me. You know, uh, you're approaching. No. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> set. I'm set. I'm set. Uh, as always, I've been your ever present Dungeon Master, Watman EXE. Uh, with me, as always, are my amazing role players. Uh, the per person who, who bowed out, who currently isn't here right now, is uh, Colin, who plays Darrow Al Oxenoff II. Uh, he had things to do, uh, and so Darrow is deep in study. Uh, Following up, we of course have the the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Josh Kaposh playing Viadra oh. Casaris, who spent most of the session being embarrassed. I guess <laughs> <laughs> being embarrassed and bullied by other people. That sounds like mm. Viadra in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, Nihil Sor playing uh, Sirsha Bonfil, who uh, had had a interesting and emotional journey today. Oh yeah! Did you know penguins have knees? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Of course, we have uh, Zami playing the amazing Howl Percival Evangeline, who also had a pretty emotional journey today. I am okay. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have Doc playing Lucian Vale, who had an equally emotional journey today, riding the way of the sandwich. Indeed. <laughs> uh, with that, we will call it a night, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.